go and watch your, your bedroom space improve. Uh, your sleep can improve. Like I said, it will change your oxygen. Um, it'll clear out even allergens. Uh, so bringing nature, sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, bringing nature inside <laughs> is your healthy tip of the week. Okay, moving right along. So I'm going to share with you an affirmation. It is a monetary affirmation. So it is related to increasing your pentacles, your money, your coin, your yen, your dharma, your, I don't know, um, pesos, <laughs> your money, money, okay? Um, that paper, okay? So this is a positive affirmation to help increase your money in your life and your thoughts around money. Um, I'm also going to share one that is not related to money for those of you that that is not a priority, but I don't know many of us who don't want to have a few more coins in our pocket, especially around the end of this week is money flows frequently and easily into my life. Money flows frequently and easily into my life. Say it in your heart center, write it down if you can, I don't have it written down except on my notepad, but money flows frequently and easily into my life. Say this whenever you're feeling a state of lack, there's not enough, I can never do that, um, I'll never see the six-figure job that I'm looking for or income. Uh, when you're feeling kind of negative around money or the way it's coming into your world, I want you to reframe it. Grab this affirmation and embrace it. Say it, write it, live it. Money flows frequently and easily into my life. Hello, everyone. Thank you to the thousand, over thousand viewers who are in here tonight, 7 p.m. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. I'm Triple L. I'm your host. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to move into jokes. And then we're going to talk to two amazing guests. One has no time for games and one has a lot of power. So they are both amazing individuals. One is a newer friend of mine in the stream dream and one is the friend in the stream dream I've had for a long time. And yes, lugs, jokes, yes, yes, and yes, spam the Amos Woo. Y'all spam the emojis, okay? The clocks, the battery pack, the green one, spam those batteries, okay? You are in for a treat. I kid you not. Okay, here we go. Remember, I'm live, love, laugh, right? We talked about healthy living. Loving more is key. We're going to wrap that into the affirmation right now, this week. And, well, we have to laugh as much as we can. So here we go. Put on your silly hat, silly socks, silly shoes, everything, okay? And just go with it, all right? How do you wash your hands over the holiday? How do you wash your hands over the holiday? With Santa-tizer. <laughs> Santa-tizer. Okay, come on, come on. I'm walking here. Okay, no, okay, I didn't say there were good jokes. I did never, I never, did, did I say they were good jokes? I did not say they were good jokes, okay? I said, be silly with me. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second joke, all right? Get your silly, silliness in. <laughs> Why don't you ever see Santa in the hospital? Why don't you ever see Sansa in the hospital? Because he has private elf care. <laughs> Come on. That's funny. <laughs> private elf care. Elf care. Get it? Get it? Elf? <laughs> okay. I know. I cracked myself up. You guys, you got to laugh a little bit. <laughs> Had a car accident yesterday, alive today. You know, I am unstoppable, right? You got to laugh it off. Okay. 
All right, so that's it for the jokes for now. I might add a few at the end. <laughs> and yes, you named it. Um, I think it's ICU. Um, yes, I tell silly jokes. They're dad jokes, but they're told by a mom. And I am a mom of three. So, all right. Wow. Thank you all for being here. It is that time when we get to bring in two most amazing streamers and individuals who have an impact in our communities and on the stream dream. My first guest tonight, and whenever you're ready, please request the box, my dear, um, is someone, like I said, how I have met in the streams and had the privilege and honor to get to know her in other streams. And that is kind of my favorite way to get to know people. It's like a networking opportunity, right? So if I'm in a stream I enjoy, and then there's others in there that enjoy it, we usually have the vibe. Yes. So please, with all the clocks in the chat <laughs> and all the no time for games, but she's a lot of fun. Okay, so don't get it twisted. It's just well, we're gonna let her tell us where the name came from. But please welcome in my first guest of the night, No Time for Games. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Oh. How are you? You know, I'm getting, you know, getting my voice back, but I'm doing good. Doing good. So Glad and you thank know, you so much for the be, allowing me to be on the show. Of course. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I I hope I didn't give you what I had. <laughs> because that it was a beast and it took my voice that week a couple weeks ago. So um I'm so glad you're here. You look amazing. May I put you in the medium box so that medium box is fine. Get yeah. and get to know you even more. <laughs> Everybody, it's no time for games, and she is so amazing. Um, due to some things like me being sick and scheduling, um, we had to rearrange things, and she is so flexible, and I appreciate that because that is key in life <laughs> is being flexible. Um, so let's start with let's start with the life talk, the stream life, the life life, and then we'll dip into the love talk. And anything that I ask, if you feel uncomfortable, you don't like the question, don't want to answer, we just breeze right over it. Please don't feel any pressure. You're, yeah, you're a guest here. I want you to feel comfortable, but share what you, you feel inclined to share because you definitely could be, you know, speaking to someone directly in the crowd that needs to hear what you have to say. Absolutely. Okay. So tell us, how did you get started into the live stream community? <sighs> so... Um, I started almost two years ago. February will make two years. Um, and I got started, I was on POF when it was an actual dating site before it was live stream. And then I uninstalled it and for years and years, I wasn't even on this platform. And then, um, me and my mom was having a conversation and she was like, you know, just get, just stick your foot out there to see. And so of course I redownloaded the app. And I saw this live feature. And so like I started live hopping and everything. And I would have never in a million years thought I would be here because I was so scared to talk to other people. And you got how many views in here right now? Like, oh, it's a little nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. And it's a little nerve wracking. They're growing because but you're in here with us. Sharing like the more that I've done it, the more I've gotten more comfortable. Like I know that I have a voice and I know like my message is getting to somebody because I check my IG messages all the time. So. Absolutely. 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 Sorry. I, when I laugh, I cry. And when I cry, so I laugh. Funny. And so anyway, don't mind me as I <laughs> you are have okay. tears of joy um, and have to fix the makeup. So, um, so you, you had the app, but took a break, took it off, didn't even think about it, yeah. went back into it, saw that go live, and started go living. So yes. did you start right off living yourself, or did you no. do what you were no. doing the, the no. box? I was, I was, I did a lot of live hopping, um, and I did a lot of, I was a gifter before I was a streamer, right? Um. And so I met some amazing people while I was live hopping. And I will say the very, like the third live that I ever went into was Top Badge Steven 610. 
in his personality and his like his character like he was so funny and so like i just started asking him questions and like he really did help me like in the beginning and, and he's just he's a very dope person so he is there's never yes, a dope moment in like his streams i have never gone in there and been bored oh. disappointed or you know it's always a good conversation a lot of fun and a lot of great people in there too that just want to yes. either hash it out or talk it out or fight it out <laughs> it's just a lot of fun um so started off more as a gifter a stream hopper mm -hmm. and then tell me about now your personal journey as a streamer what what does that look like for you how do you build oh. it in um you know and what does that look like for you? So my biggest word that I like to use is balance. Mm. You have to balance everything. Um, now that I've done this so far, like I have developed a lot of personal relationships with, with well, you see the clock. So two of my, two oh. of my very favorite, Damn two of my very favorite people. Um, yes, we, we have connections on this app, but when you allow yourself to be vulnerable with certain people and you start to grow with certain people, you create connections where you take it off of this app. And so like th those two right there are my biggest supporters. Um, and, and they definitely have helped me through this journey. I love it. I love it. It's such an opportunity for, for growth and connection and positivity. Yes. And that's really where I try to keep my streams centered and focused you know Absolutely. we all get a little irritated and we all get a little <laughs> battle that isn't nice you know what i mean but i try to keep yes. it on the up and up and lift each other up and you know be silly and that's the streams that i try to deliver and i'm sure you know when you do stream you do the same um so now can we start to talk about some love talk we, yes, we absolutely can. Okay, it's my favorite part, y'all. If you're just joining us, my name is Triple L. Live, love, laugh. Twenty One Cent was my original username back in 2018 when I downloaded the app Plenty of Fish. I am still a Plenty of Fish user, and I am a top badge. Thank God that's that came uh, after two almost three years. So yay, <laughs> raise the roof. Um, this is the Living and Loving Show, and right now in the box is no time for games please hit her with a favorite when she comes back um she will be back in just a moment she's doing things busy things and we're about to talk about love so you know that's always it could get stressful <laughs> um so welcome no time for games in just a moment and yes miss <laughs> i am unstoppable raise it up y'all <laughs> I told you, I actually, what I speak is what I do. I do practice what I preach for the most part, okay? All right, here we go. Welcoming her back in. Throw, spam up those Spam. clocks. I forgot I was in here on my second device too. So when I left on my second device, I did me. that last week on a show. So no worries. Yeah, I was doing the same. I was like commenting it. Yes, no worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to talk about love in like two parts. One, I, would you share with us a little bit about your previous love life before Stream Dream? Um, whatever you do want to share. And then we'll talk about streaming and love and kind of go with that. So when I decided back in, I have been single since 2016. And so um, a lot of like where I am now to where I was then, like, the growth that I have developed um, back then it was it was easy but like the the certain questions in relationships that I wasn't asking back then that I ask now mm. the the vetting process back then was is nowhere near where I'm at today so um, I've always been an affectionate person um, and so that. you know I love that yeah it's a good thing but lovers get yeah. hurt too right yes. it is a it is a gift and a curse because i'm a very compassionate person and my heart literally like it, it shows the type of person that i am and so that it is a gift and a curse um i know some people pay attention to the signs so i'm a cancer 
Um, so yes, we, we are great people. We the best. You are great people. And Leo's in cancers. I'm a Leo. They're very much best friends. Um, and cancer is a very emotional sign. Um, being a water sign, I'm pretty sure. We are. Because <laughs> they're cups. We are. And, um, but also, you know, very powerful in your own right. Um, but yes, the emotions run, you know, deep and sometimes come to the surface. Similar to Leo's though. Um, so yeah. So what have you, have you been married before? Have you um, had children or? So um, yes, I am. I'm a mom of three. Okay. Um, I have, I have a son um, that is 23. And then I have two daughters, which are 20 and nine, almost 10. Um, I've never been married. Um, I, that is one of the things that I have put on my list because I'm going to do a vision board stream. Um, so that is one of the things that is going on my vision board because I, that is, I'm speaking it into existence. So I love that. Yes. And you know, let's make it one time, right? I did think when I did it, it was one time, but you know, <laughs> life had other plans. One, one but, time, very one, one time. time. And you know what? And if it doesn't happen, are you okay with that as well? I feel like I am. Yes. I, I am very so much okay with that. Um I've just I've had so many strong people around me. Like when my grandparents, my dad's mom, him, her and her husband were married for forty four years before my grandfather passed away. And then my dad's dad, him and her were married for 42 years and then I have been blessed enough to be like to be around my great great grandparents and wow. they were married at the age of 14 and 16 and they were married their entire life and I believe before my grandfather passed away they were married 70 something years Wow! so I am a firm believer that I have seen my grandparents go through a lot. I have seen my father before my father passed away. Him and my stepmom would have been married 25 years. So I have, I come from a long line of positivity yes. out in a place of where there's not really a good positive look on marriages. So I'm very hopeful. That's amazing. And yes, it helps to have that around you to see it living and breathing and because it's not fear because and it's it is it's not easy at all um and that's amazing and i love that you're going to manifest it co-create it with the universe and of course you deserve to be loved whether you put it down on legal paper or y'all just commit to each other for life however that looks you deserve it and i'm excited for that part of the journey um so y'all if you're just joining us this is no time for games i want you to know that if you're new to this stream thank you so much for joining us we're a featured show saturday nights at seven and we are talking about life and love and a lot of other amazing things that happen in our journey um stream journey and otherwise if you click the box right here you'll see a little gift box up in her square you can click that and gift her right here you can also favorite her and follow her social media so please connect with her um, so that you don't lose her once she's out of the box make sure you click everything now and so you can stay in touch with her after um, this stream and join her streams and follow like i said her social media um, content so now when it comes to streaming how do you set boundaries with like dating and have you dated? And again, you don't have to answer that, <laughs> but we are all listening, just saying. <laughs> all oh, the thousand of so, us. <laughs> this is, so this is the thing. I am very much open to dating a streamer. I'm not opposed to it. Um, again, I do have people that are in my circle that are in relationships. And so again, I have that positive look like, okay, you go onto streams and you hear people say, you know, oh my gosh, you hear all these horror stories. And I'm just like, I have, I got good people. I am a firm believer. If you surround yourself with positivity and you surround yourself with good people that aren't always negative, 
your diet isn't always what you eat. It's anything that you consume mentally, emotionally, physically. So I, I, I'm a big believer, but I do have boundaries. Um, I, I let people know, like, you know, get people to come into my stream. They'll be like, can you send me a private message? I, I don't. I don't send private messages unless like you've been in my stream for a while and I feel like conversations in my stream have gone a certain way and there have been certain comments. Just because I don't act upon that comment doesn't mean I didn't file it away over here in the back of my, <laughs> in my file box back here. Like, yes. okay, I see it. So at, after that point, then I'm just like, okay, let's have a conversation and see what happens. The that. biggest issue is the distance, right? Yes. A lot of people are like, oh, you're an hour, you're too far, or you're two, two hours away. And that is a great point because tonight, after I get off of your show, I am actually doing a long distance relationship stream. Okay, so everybody, again, hit the favorite on No Time for Games right now. So you're going to do a whole stream about it tonight. I love yes. that. Yes, I yes. have been in some long distance relationships and uh, it's a whole nother universe. You know, it takes a lot of, a lot of things <laughs> on both sides mm -hmm. to make it actually. It, it definitely oh, does. Yeah. I got my notes. I got my notes and everything. It was just over here ready. So. Okay. So what time are you starting that? Like eight? Um, I will probably start my stream probably about eight fifteen. And so okay. we will start shortly after, after the stream builds up. So I, awesome. I am super excited. I love it. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to pop in. I do have an auction later, which is I'm stressed and I got to sing and dress up y'all. It's woof. we're going to do it though. Um, <laughs> okay. So before I let you go, which I would talk to you forever. Um, I, I love your energy. I love your positivity. You. I love your strength. And I love that you're an inspiration to many of us on the platform. Um, what is something, well, tell us, well, we can catch you live soon, but what else can we expect coming up from you in your streams or events possibly you want to share with us or anything you'd like to share with us before, um, I let you go for now. Um, I do stream daily. Um, that is something, um, on Sundays we do do football streams and here Ooh. we do, we, we, I, I am, when I say that I am a football fanatic, like words does not describe my football fanaticness so um go ohio state <laughs> go ohio state um but um yes i do football streams i do do i have gotten into doing more serious topics for the fact that you know oftentimes we're on this app and we hear such rhetoric about this or about that i actually have started getting back into my research and actually getting numbers and getting statistics and getting the actual getting the actual i'm just gonna ignore that comment oh, grew up in your mouth with that comment did you see that album talking football y'all it's like we don't do politics religion or football in here no i'm just kidding we do <laughs> i love it but, um, i love it i i do um I have gotten into that because I feel like sometimes we get so accustomed to because you don't like a certain thing, then we attach verbiage to that. Like Friday night or Thursday night, I did a stream about submissive and what it takes to be submissive in relationships and stuff like that. So we we do have those topics. I don't think I curse. Did I curse? Sorry, y'all. I'm not supposed to curse on my future channel. <laughs> Uh, sorry, um, I am a real human. Hello. Okay, oh, so, so um, lots to look forward to. So Sunday football stream tomorrow. Tonight doing a long distance LDR relationship stream. So love that. Um, everybody make sure you're hitting No Time for Games with the favorite. Follow her social media and connect with her on all the levels. And yes, she's looking for love, but don't rush it because she Absolutely. has no time for games Absolutely. thank you triple l i greatly appreciate you for having me on your show i appreciate it it's an honor and it's a privilege and i hope you got like a hundred faves or so from being on here and i can't always promise the gifts but i love to give a platform to folks 
to increase your visibility. So you're welcome back anytime. Um, anytime you want to come on, we are going to do a big New Year's Eve um, living and loving show, which is going to be a lot of fun. So just uh, don't be a stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sweet pea. No time for games, y'all. But she has time for football, which is a game. So you got to know, you know, you got to know the whole situation. <laughs> no time for games and love and life but definitely time for sports. Hi everyone, I am Triple L. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. Thank you to the 2,300 viewers. I just want to let you know that the top gifter of this show will be featured on my Instagram of almost 3,000 followers. So you'll get a chance to be highlighted as the stream winner. I will showcase your picture and make a reel for you that can be promoted for yourself on your other platforms. I really appreciate all the support and gifts. I cannot acknowledge everyone as you're gifting, but just know I'm grateful and thankful that you're here, that you're, you're enjoying, you're chatting in the chat, you're favoriting the favorites. You're doing all the stream things with me tonight. I'm grateful. Um, big love. Hi, Kim. Hi. Okay. Now, without further ado, we have another amazing guest. When he's ready, I'd love him to request the box. I hope he's still in here. I'm, sh I'm sure he's still in here. He is from across the pond. It is after midnight and his, his, abode in his hometown and he is so kind and had agreed a while back we met in a random battle the beauty of streaming the beauty of random battles when you use it appropriately and kindly you get to meet some of the best people on earth from all across the world and yes chris power is our next guest he is a fitness enthusiast he's a fitness instructor and he is also a social media influencer he has been a streamer on multiple platforms for many years, so he is not new to the stream dream, but he is newer to his Meet Me account. So you will see him tonight on his Meet Me platform. Please make sure you also favorite and connect with him and gift if so inclined. And please welcome in my next guest with the big green batteries, Chris Power. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you so much for being here. It's like midnight, but it's it's Saturday night, so it is perfect timing, right? <laughs> right. And a shout out to Lundy Fit. He's one of my best buddies that I've met on the stream. Actually, so. Okay, I got you faved. Thank you. I love that. Everybody, big shout out to Lundy tuning in and supporting his fellow streamer. I love that. You guys, it's all about love and support. Make sure everything is positive in the chat. Please favorite Chris when you feel inclined. Follow all his social medias. He does have a YouTube. He does have an Instagram and probably all the other handles out there. <laughs> but um, let's talk about it. So tell me about your social media journey because it's not just streaming for you. So just talk to me about it. Give me kind of how you got started and how you built up your social media presence. Sure. So I actually studied media production at university and I didn't know, but I knew at some point in my life I was going to be a content creator. I didn't know what industry I'd be making content for, but I knew I was behind the camera. And I never thought I'd be in front of the camera, but um, I was in a relationship and when that ended, I just thought, let me focus on myself. And I managed to transform my body. Um, I've lost over 140 40 pounds. And after that, I just got so much um, messages on, on, this, on Instagram about my journey. And I just wanted to like build up. It was all about me, really. It wasn't, I didn't start it to help anyone else. It was just to document my uh, progress in my fitness. And I wanted to do it in a very um, creative way and utilize my photography skills. And uh, I guess become an influencer. So I've done it all myself. But when I got so much like messages from people who had hit like rock bottom mm. and they needed like, I've tried every diet, I've tried every exercise. Um, can you just support me? And I'm not a PT. I'm not qualified to train anyone or a nutritionist. I'm not allowed to give diet plans. So I thought, let me just do it for free. And uh, <laughs> I managed to help like 600 people lose weight 
and all I did was track their weight weekly. And wow. I got so much donations from that. I didn't, I didn't need to charge. But then I started the next level now, next, the following year, people were like, Chris, I want to learn. I want to Sorry, someone's asking about how to connect with you. So if you click the box right now where Chris is, I think he's over here. On my, I don't know. It's always reversed. But wherever his box is, if you tap it, you'll actually see his profile for Meet Me, but also his social media should be linked in there, at least uh, IG. But we'll also share it towards the end so that people um, can have it. But yes. Okay. So sorry. So back to, so 600 people just by yeah. tracking their weight measurements and their, their progress for them. That's all right. I just said, try to eat more vegetables because you need nutrients, <laughs> vitamins, minerals. And I want you to design your own food plan. I want you to design your own workout because everyone had different fitness, um, I mean, health ailments. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, a lot of people go on YouTube to watch all these exercise, different exercise, but loads of people have different conditions and ailments. So I said, do what you can do. Try and, you know, if you want, if you want some support, I can tell you different ways to do that. So it's less pressure on your back. You know, some people have sci sciatica and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, do whatever you can, but you have to lose weight for Monday. So that's all that's it was, was every Monday, lose weight, every Monday, lose weight. And that's been the theme in Power Club. Wow. Okay. So Power Club. So your name, your real life name is Chris Power, correct? No, it's not. Um, oh, okay. So tell us about it and tell us about Power Club. So I have a whole PDF document. It's on my, um, on my bio and it's okay. about, it's actually an acronym. Um, should we go into it? Go Absolutely on. we should. It's live streaming and this is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. And you're the president of Power, who is a social media influencer. He is a streamer on multiple platforms, but he is also a fitness enthusiast. He's a supporter of fitness in your life and his own life, and he shares his journey. And here we look at us, PowerPoint and everything. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some learning outcomes, and it's an acronym. So it's like pragmatism and patience, like being realistic and patient. You're not going to be like a, an athlete tomorrow. You know, we've got willpower, eat more nutrients. Remember why you started, consistency, loving yourself, um, being useful to other others, and balance. You know, you can have like a McDonald's from time to time. But yeah, I'll just go into them a bit in a bit more detail. If you want to read this, you can, you know. Amazing. And so is this on your, this is at your YouTube or it's also linked into your Insta? Instagram? It's linked into my Instagram. It's also in my Discord. So I've got like a PowerPoint of, um, there's like wow. an activity, there's an activity in there anyway. Um, but there's a, I have a community on Discord and that's where everyone basically posts their progress pics and it's free to join. If anyone wants to join, it's free. I get to learn about so many recipes, um, workout challenges. I'll show you here. This is the Discord. I don't know. I think so, someone's got like a ring, but anyway, <laughs> there's like um, <laughs> they got their and they're fit. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So it's like community chat, food picks, scale picks, links if you want to send me anything. Looking good progress picks. If I click oh, that, wow. you, yeah. So if you want to just if you're confident enough and you want to post a progress pick, you can put it in there. Everybody shows love. Building muscle tips, weight loss tips, some merchandise, motivational quotes, um, passion, so we get to know about people outside of fitness, and health products, um, and yeah, recipes. So there's quite a few things, different sections for different categories. And um, But what I've noticed is um, some people want to do what I'm doing, and they want to be fitness content creators. So I said, you know what, I'm happy to share all of my photography, videography tips, um, that I learned at Discovery Channel when I was working as a producer editor there. And I made like another PDF, I'm the PDF guy, on how to be a content creator and do effectively, effectively what I've done. And that's five pounds a month, which is like six dollars. Cheap as chips, it's all there. And you're giving away your, your tips and tricks of how to be a successful Yeah, it's content, content creator. creator. Yeah. Also marketing tips, because a lot of people know um, the basics, but there's m so much more you can do that people overlook. Um, 
so I've put together like a, a how to contact brands because I've got people sending me products, skincare products. I've got stuff. I just haven't, I haven't had time to create content for it yet. But it's about writing the emails, signing up, um, reviewing products, um, everything from product photography to creating content, um, creating stories, doing YouTube. I've got YouTube. Um, I've only got four videos, but they're quite in depth about information about different types of fat mass, how I stay motivated, how to be resilient. I've got a video called Re Resilience is Brilliance. Coming up with cool names. I love that. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. It seems like, I mean, if you could pinpoint the time this started, like if you had a date, what sure. would be the date where you kind of, you started your own fitness journey, right? Mm -hmm. What was that date approximately? Ooh. I'd have to go on my Instagram. Oh, that's okay. Well, I was just going to give like a ballpark because to me, it seems like everything's exploding as far as your successes. And to the point of, like you just said, you have things to do, but you don't even have enough time or you need another hand or two in there, you know, another person almost to yeah. generate um, more content and to, to basically you're building your business um, and yeah, your brand. That's right. Yeah. So Lundy Fit is in the Power Ruby Club. That's another membership. It's the content creator. So he's, it's a different, it's a bit of a different style of logo. And he's basically part of almost going to be part of leadership. Mm -hmm. And there's a gold membership, which is leadership. So we can talk about brands and things. But I started um, in my fitness journey was in 2018. And it took me nine months to lose all the weight. Um, oh. but in 2020, that's when I, um, started Instagram. Wow. Um, I just, I, cause the year before I didn't know what to do. I just read a lot about diets and things like that, but I just felt like I needed to, um, go outside and I lost all the weight, um, going to the park, not even in the gym. Really? I lost all I wanted to do was run from one tree to the next tree because I couldn't run. Wow. I couldn't, I couldn't do, I literally couldn't run for five seconds. So every day I just wanted to go to another tree <laughs> and then eventually oh I done, God. and then you just kept going. Yeah, I've done a one lap and then I've done two laps and then I was in 10 kilometers, six miles, seven miles. And then I was watching, I was keeping up with, the people in the park because you know the people in the park there's a community and they all know each other and they saw me from where i started and i had um people just respect me that I, you know yeah well i'm sure you were inspiring others to keep coming back and to keep going and they were inspiring me and and yeah both both ways that's amazing and it started just in the park running tree to tree just step by step one step in front of the other like we do anything in life right exactly and i what i'll say i started in the morning and i think i, I was watching a lot of um youtube videos but then i started reading and they said you should start the if you want to start a fitness journey start tomorrow morning when you wake up what is the first thing that you eat because that determines what you're eating throughout the whole day <laughs> if you this start eating if you eat, a mars bar, if you eat a mars bar it's going to Spike we have some coffee drinkers in here. I, I, I definitely do that too. But water first, y'all. Water first, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrate. Try and have something that doesn't spike your glucose levels because that makes you more hungry. So eat a good fibrous meal in the morning, like a porridge, oatmeal. You guys call it oatmeal, right? Oatmeal. Yes. Mm -hmm. right, or porridge. Love how he says porridge. Hey, is anybody else enjoying the accent, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gosh, I'm going to practice after the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, if you're just joining us, sorry, Chris, to cut you off. Um, this is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. I'm Triple L. My second guest of this evening is Chris Power in the box. Please click on his profile. Adam as a favorite here on Meet Me. Also connect with his social media profiles. We're talking about how he built his fitness business up from literally just his own personal journey in a park running tree to tree in about 2018. So in within four years, he has a social media presence. He is a streamer on multiple platforms and he is changing lives. Literally, 
um, with very basic, sounds like very reasonable steps. Um, you're just helping give a place for connection, right? And a way to track progress, which is, is, is very key in staying motivated, I find in my own ups and downs with weight uh, in my own personal life. So amazing. Yeah. I think it, all it takes is for someone to believe in you. That's all it takes, you know? And I've seen people just, we say in the UK, they've gone clear, you know, they've flown out of the, you know, <laughs> they've smashed it. So, yeah, I feel like I've got so much satisfaction from um, helping others. I think it's kind of slowed me down. But I, I've enjoyed every step of the way. So I've enjoyed supporting them. And, you know, I've had people cry on a Zoom call to me, like, Chris, you don't know what you've done. You've really changed my life, you know, or what, what's up? people just buying my merch. You know, Lundy bought my merch straight away when I, within like, I don't know how long it was, but he's just like, yep, he's wearing it around, walking around. Um, I've sent him, I've sent him a jumper, or we, what was it called? A sweatshirt or jumper, uh -huh. hoodie, with his name on the back of it. So they, he's got that coming December 22nd. Uh -huh. So, I that. so now how do we get to your merch is that also through instagram or what's the best it's all in, it's all in my instagram when you join the discord okay. every, everything's in there everything's in there when you join the discord Perfect. and it's free so yeah, yeah you have an amazing logo it's very clean it's Thank very you. powerful yes i am playing on the word and uh, <laughs> and it's i love the blue and gold i mean i don't think and in fact maybe i wore blue tonight in honor of the logo. <laughs> so, oh, do you have other, look at that. So you have multiple ones to appeal yeah. to all kinds of, of folks. I love that. Because not everybody wants to be a content creator. Some people just want to lose weight just to be with their kids or climb a mountain or go to the shops. Everybody has different reasons. So these guys are like, they want to go on TikTok. They want to be fit. They want to kind of do what I do. So I give them more tailored support on on that sort of things and then i've got a gold membership which is kind of uh for leadership talking to brands and things like that so i'm building the platform slowly wow that's yeah. awesome it's a whole new world for me on that side of it um so looking towards your streaming side of it do you see do you see yourself streaming more on meet me um in the in the days to come or will you build it in maybe a couple of times a week or how are you gonna Stay involved in the meet group community. The meet group community. <laughs> I'm not right? letting you go <laughs> that easily. <laughs> uh, um, well, I have met quite a few people in here who do different types of um, sports, MMA, like I mentioned, men's physique. One of my best friends is competing in Las Vegas right now for a Mr. Olympia. Oh, wow. And I shoot a lot of his content on YouTube. Um, so I like to connect with all people in sports and fitness bodybuilders all of it and i know there's quite a few on this platform so i'm going to keep streaming on here um so all y'all uh, fitness enthusiasts whether you're super fit or trying to get fit or like me trying to stay fit and maybe drop a couple lbs and not you know just if you're trying to stay motivated and connected in the fitness world chris is a person to connect with make sure you hit that favorite sure so and even Come, You're okay. not going to get out of the box. I'm just going to say this now without a talk about live. Okay. You cannot come to the living and loving show. I think he's trying to fill it up with fitness stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not going to get away that easy. Has yeah. he met me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we are going to talk about love a little bit um, in just a moment. And of course, like we said, I told you earlier, you don't have right. to answer anything you don't want to. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Finish up. Just let's, let's let you kind of close out what else you'd like to share for folks about your fitness ways to get in touch with you regarding fitness and merch. And, um, and then we'll cruise into the love. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, all right. So yeah, if you just click my bio on Instagram and click discord, all of my links are there and, um, it's free. Like I said, just come in say hi, introduce yourself. What's your fitness goals? And then I can assign a role to you if you're trying to build muscle or if you're trying to lose fat. And we track to the gram. So even if you don't lose a pound and it's just mm -hmm. 500 grams, that's still a loss. You know, Great. so 
all I'll say is just come and have a look and uh, see if it's for you. And if you don't feel like tracking or posting your scale pictures, or you can just send it to me directly if you feel more comfortable, or you could just keep it to yourself and have a mental note. But I feel like there's power in knowledge, power in helping each other, and then, you know, power in just staying disciplined and uh, feeling positive. Yeah, so that's it. And celebrating those successes, uh, big and small. You know, it's, right. it, it, and in fact, if you are living and, and eating and, you know, active and doing life, you are not going to necessarily shed pounds all the time, especially if you're already pretty low BMI, you may have other goals like building muscle mass or, you know, changing your, your toning, uh, your shape. So, um, you're not necessarily going to be losing. And I bet you also have folks that are looking to gain. I know a lot of women um, that are, and it's not me y'all, but are looking to put on some pounds in different areas. And you know, yeah. that's fun too. So <laughs> good for you, ladies and gents. <laughs> yeah. I'll um, give you what I got. <laughs> um, I love it. Okay. So are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. I, I just feel like you're dodging you're dodging around a little. What, am I reading you right or no? I'm happy to talk about it. Um, okay. So you reason. mentioned that you got out of a relationship in 2018. And at that point, you had put on some weights over the years. Um, how long was the relationship again? At that, it had been two and, a half, two and a half years. Yeah. Two and a half years. So um, you were healing from, I would assume, heartbreak. And or tell us, tell us, what was that journey like and, and where are you now? And you're, you're looking for love, you're happy just where you are. What does it look like for you in the love world? Well, quick backstory. I mean, she was a perfect person, just wrong time in my life. Mm. So I was suffering heartbreak because I wasn't ready to go to the next step, which was to move in together, oh. start the family, all that sort of stuff. I still, I just started my business at the time, which wasn't um, fitness orientated. I started shooting um, content for other people, local businesses. Um, and I just wanted to focus on that. And I felt like we was going different places. I said to her, if, um, if I wanted to go to New York because I got a job, would you come? And she said, no. Mm. Because she wanted to be close to her family. Her family were older, her parents were older than mine. So I had to understand that, you know, and um, there's other signs. So we just didn't stop loving her. It was more like I had to think with my brain, like, is this the person for me at this stage of my life? So I had to leave. And that's hard. It's hard to make that choice. Even knowing in your heart of hearts that it was the best choice for you and her ultimately yeah. right because you wouldn't want to be separated seas apart um but you also want to share a vision with your your person and be able to grow and flourish together so that's a very hard and mature choice that you made yeah and just to add on that you know i was living at i was li I'm living with my family at the moment my mom's quite sick so i'm taking care of her with my dad and um, she was, I found a place for her around the corner from my house. And I was kind of balancing between my family and her. And I wasn't always getting to see her. And I just felt like I'm choosing when this woman is happy. <laughs> and when I'm not there, she's sad. And when I'm there, she's happy. So I was playing God. I didn't want to play God anymore. You know, she deserved someone to be there all the time, loving her up. She deserved it. So Aww. it was the hardest decision I made in my adult life. But I made it. And that's what, you know, being an adult's about, making tough decisions. And that's what I did. Oh my goodness. Yes. You put you you put love of yourself but of her above everything. And to me, like they say, if you love something, let it be free. Right. And if it comes back to you, it is meant for you. And if it doesn't, you thank it and let it go on its way. Right. And that is, like I said, very mature. And many of us, I think, get caught up, including myself over the years, and grasping on to, you know, we've invested two and a half years. It's like, 
I can't imagine starting over and dating again. And, you know, and again, you looking at your fitness journey, you know, where you were physically, it's like, Oh my God, now I've got to do this too, you know, but you, you really made that hard choice. But I would say, I mean, looking back four years later, are you proud of yourself? I mean, I wouldn't have started my Instagram all about me. That Instagram that you're looking at was all her. I was trying to get her into the modeling thing and she was, I, if I look at my, if I show you my archives, it's all her professional pictures and all that. And I was just, it wasn't about me, you know? So it's funny how, and when I was in a relationship, when I was overweight, she thought I was sexy. She loved me. She knew what type of man I was. I didn't feel like I needed to lose weight when I was with her. Like, or look after myself. Maybe I was loving her so much that I forgot about myself. Mm. So once I left that relationship I looked to myself in the mirror and I was like I'm a man and I'm looking like this you know like I want to know what I really look like as a grown ass man you know <laughs> well, it's, I'm looking like a big teddy bear <laughs> you know a little, fluffy, a little fluffy nothing wrong with that but I like that you wanted to see a change you knew you could look different and you had a vision obviously it was held in your mind's eye of what you could look like yeah yeah I, I mean i didn't have a problem dating being a bigger person but i just felt like i need to i don't want to have a heart attack right in the next five years my dad is kind of overweight my brother's overweight i kind of wanted to be the first person to inspire like a new um healthy way of living and you know i come from a very tr- traditional family and we eat with a lot of um calories and we eat I quite love a lot food. Of food. <laughs> I love food. Very, yeah, very tasty food so i wanted to try and recreate some of the dishes and just went on a food cooking journey so that's what i did but yeah i just had to re- really go back to basics and just look after i haven't got to look after her anymore i can just do me and i just within nine months i transformed my body and started this amazing amazing and it's inspirational and i hope a lot of us you know i mean you're being very open and honest and like i said you made a choice that ultimately changed the trajectory the direction of your life which is so amazing um what are you looking forward to in love in the future are you looking is that even in your on your vision board right now as we were talking about with no time for games if it isn't that's okay too but if you had something you're looking forward to in love what would it be um i guess an independent woman someone who wants to take every opportunity that is around her um not really dating at the moment but But everybody favorite him anyway, oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't hold back, but yes, no time for games is said but. So what's the but? What's the what's the caveat? <laughs> I can't give all the cheat codes because then they'll just start, you know. Oh, it's the cheat codes. Well, he plays games too, yeah. like video games. We can. <laughs> yeah, yeah you got to get to know someone slowly. But okay. I- I like that. So what he's saying is go to his streams, make sure you hit the favorite, connect on his social media, go to his discord. He has more to share and more to give to this world. And you should get to know him on all levels. That's what I hear you saying. (laughs) I'm giving him an out. (laughs) As you could see, he was trying to avoid the love talk y'all. He was, he was okay. And we didn't get we didn't let him out of the box without a little bit of it, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and energy and um, inspiration tonight, sharing your, your journeys with us in fitness and in love and as a social media influencer, merchandiser. Um, before you go, please let us know when can we find you live again and what else can we look forward to um, from you in 2023? So I'll be on the old YouTube doing training videos. I'm actually doing, I was doing a three month bulk. So I'm quite chunky right now, but in the next couple of months, I'll be completely different. And I'll be doing a lot of calisthenics, 
Lundy fit in here. We're both on the on the uh, calisthenics kind of say it probably calisthenics calisthenics <laughs> journey, and um, we're going to be doing a lot of training videos. And I'd love to meet him. So maybe I could fly around and meet some of the people I've met on here. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yes, definitely something to look forward to, um, to travel and and to meet in real life. Amazing. Calisthenics. I could not even, yeah, it, she could spell it. I'm a very bad speller. <laughs> um, amazing. Amazing. So will you be streaming on this platform anytime soon? Uh, could yeah, they expect to see this evening or tomorrow? I'm on here daily, to be fair. Um, okay. I don't know what time eastern time because i'm in gmt so i wouldn't know but i know it's like maybe five hours between us i think so. yes yes he's a night owl he did say y'all so you might catch him kind of like i did on an evening i was doing an evening stream and he was still on um over in the uk like my other lovely friends uh moons in the chat and Kavi, both top badges are also from um the uk and they're in here too so we do have some night owls in the, the community <laughs> amazing so um thank you again and i hope you'll hang around just for the recap but if not i'm so glad we connected and thanks for making time for the show well you're welcome you take care now okay bye chris bye Hi, everybody. 3,723 viewers came in so far tonight. Thank you so much. It's just after eight. Our show airs every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I am Live Love Laugh 2110, my original username on Plenty of Fish from 2018. Tried to shorten it and make it easier to say into triple L. Well, it's still a mouthful, but it's a lot of good energy, right? Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for enjoying our show. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you were able to favor our two guests tonight. We had no time for games. She's in the chat with the Purple Hearts. We just had Chris Power in the box. He was our second guest and he's in the chat, I'm sure in a moment. So make sure you're hitting them with the favorites. Please join them in their live streams. The one thing that I absolutely love the most about being a live streamer on the meet group platforms, the plenty of fish platform is the fact that we have the power to connect with amazing individuals to inspire and can make a community of, of love and support and connection and silliness and good things just as much as we have the power to do the opposite. I would encourage you to look at your own streams and your own content, and see and, and analyze, is it actually uplifting? Is it actually encouraging growth and, and support to others? Or is it doing something different? We're all here for different reasons. I respect everybody as long as they're respecting others. Um, but do think about joining a community like the Good Vibe Tribe here by hitting the favorite button and joining my live streams to find a, a great network of individuals who really want to change the world in a positive way on live streams. I want to just recap briefly um, for our show, our 60, where's the note? 63rd show. I got notes, y'all. Okay, 63rd show, season five, episode one, December 10th, 2022. Our healthy living tip of this week is I would encourage you to please put a living plant. And if you Google, there's five plants that are wonderful to put next to your bed. And again, they don't have to be expensive. You don't have to have a fancy planter or pot. You just need a plant. Put it next to your bed. If you have one already, maybe add another. And it will literally improve your quality of sleep, your air quality in your room, and it's beautiful to look at, okay? Who doesn't wanna see a beautiful flourishing plant in their living space? So that is our healthy living tip of this week. Our affirmation was around money. And I did say I would share with you a, a non-money oriented affirmation. So my affirmation this week around the coin is money flows frequently and easily into my life. Please say it with me in your heart space out loud, write it down. Money flows easily and frequently into my life. Embrace that and make sure that you encourage yourself to think positively about your relationship with finances. On a non-monetary affirmation, I did shuffle before the stream. It's the Life Loves You um, affirmation cards. And I got, I give what I want to receive. So feel free to screenshot this. I think it's a beautiful 
in theme with our plants and bringing nature inside this week, I give what I want to receive. Thank you, Hot Mess, for typing it in the chat. We need to give what we want to receive. When you experience any lack in your life, ask yourself, what am I not giving? It's a place to start. We need to give what we want to receive. When you experience any lack in your life, ask yourself, what am I not giving? So if we're looking for love, give more love. If you're looking for more success, well, give more success, right? If you're looking for more positive energy, be more positive, okay? It's a way to cultivate it into your own aura and you will literally, by giving it, receive it. So that is our affirmation regardless of money. And we did a money affirmation. Um, again, this holiday season, I don't know anyone who couldn't have a few more pentacles or coin in their purse or pocket. Okay, we are gonna end <laughs> with a silly joke or two because I just want to. Um, all right, we did two before the show and towards our wrapping up, we're gonna do two more. Okay, again, put on your silly hats. I didn't say they were good. <laughs> okay, why does Santa have three gardens? Why does Santa have three gardens? So he can ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Yes. No time for games. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all keep an eye on Zach K, please. Okay. Um, we love you, Zach, but you're getting a little out of pocket. All right. Um, what, okay. What does Santa do when his elves misbehave? What does Santa do when his elves misbehave? He gives them the sack. <laughs> so, you know, that means like fires them, right? The sack. <laughs> but it could also mean the bag of toys. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm not going to go too much further into the silly jokes. I will have more next week. They may be holiday themed. Get ready, okay? <laughs> I'm so grateful to everyone who joined us tonight. Your time means the world to me and to my stream. We are right now being um, enhanced promoted. Um, this is our second week. Last week we had over almost 5,000 viewers. Currently we are close to 4,000 viewers in an hour and 15 minutes. It's phenomenal. So Plenty of Fish, thank you for promoting our channel as content that you feel is relevant and important for folks to see. If you're new to the live streaming community, everyone in the chat right now, especially the Reds, but literally everyone, Wonderful people, wonderful streamers, wonderful viewers, wonderful gifters, people that you should and would enjoy connecting with, I promise you. It's a good vibe tribe in here. So um, thank you again to my special guests, No Time For Games and Chris Power, um, both phenomenal individuals. I hope you enjoyed hearing some of their stories tonight. I'm gonna take a quick break and um, I'll be back. I do just want to let you know what's happening in the realm of triple um, tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, tonight, you will hear triple sing. <laughs> and it may not be good, okay? And it's an original tune based on the 12 days of Christmas. You also have an opportunity <laughs> to purchase me or win me in an auction uh, with Fiva Diva tonight. So I am going to change the outfit a little and get festive for the Christmas spirit. And I will sing a little song and I hope you will be highly entertained. Um, if you do win me in the auction, you will um, be able to go into my name. Possible name change, but most likely I will put you in my name. So wherever I go for the next week, you will go with me. And I do hop around the stream. So you'll get a lot of exposure and every time i stream they'll see your name as well so think about that <laughs> load up it is 1k bid to fiva diva and it will be the rest to me and the highest bidder um will win a name change 
Okay. Um, if nothing else, just tune in for a laugh. I think you guys are really going to like it. I'm even going to record it because I've been practicing it with my kids and they would like to see it. <laughs> so I will be recording it. No pressure. Nothing like the pressure of your kids <laughs> to make it really challenging. Um, thank you so much for all the gifts and support. I want to announce, um, since we are very close, well, you have a couple more minutes, y'all. We go all the way to the 15th. Oh, okay, Moons, Moons, you did it. <laughs> She's the number one gifter of the stream. Let me take a picture um, for this, this show tonight. Moons, thank you so much. Uh, you will get a shout out on Instagram, your very own reel, um, and I will be tagging you and helping promote you. Not that you need it, my beautiful dear, but I would love to support you in that way. And thank you so much for um, the gifts tonight. And also Krabby, all the gifters. Thank you, Hot Mess. Thank you, Masterpiece, Zoe Essex, Kim Kai, No Time for Games, Gritty, Divine, The Green Eyes, that guy, Green Eyes, Miss Wu, True, Real Cowboy, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All of my bouncers, big shout out to you. Papa Bear, big shout out to you. Thank you for helping um get us recording and oh yes he's here and he's feeling festive and better it's tricky. what was that <laughs> that's a cute penguin and look at you looking amazing thank you i got my santa hat on it's christmas season i've got my lungs have been okay to sing as long as i take it easy so. <laughs> Okay. I love it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let me out here. Um, will you grace us Let with your musical here. energy? Everything's and when you need a break, take a break. Face. And I won't have you too long. Um, just I'm gonna <laughs> change. Just, so are you okay with that? If I do a quick here. costume change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll probably and I'm gonna go do my follow la la la. I'm on here. You get ready to sing for y'all. It's a meet me song, y'all. You're gonna want to hear it. Well, it's Christmas. <laughs> meet me. Okay, all right. Take it away, Papa Bear. Make sure y'all hit him with a favorite and shower him with gifts. It's 20.9. Okay, thank you. Amazing. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> not touch screen I gotta remember that <laughs> so because I'm recording on my tablet I'm having to do it on my phone because my OBM is being weird OBS whichever initials are hey look, Santa Bear is here silent night holy night Heavenly 
on behalf of Triple L, thank you for that first gift. Uh, silent night, holy night. Thank you.